Hello everyone and welcome to the another video on OpenLCA. In this video, let's talk about how to model transportation lag in OpenLCA. Uh, we are pretty much far uh, from the video that we have started earlier and now finally we are on the transportation. And uh, if you have any questions related to the previous video, just let me know. Uh, so in this video, uh, let's uh, discuss what are the things that need to be aware of before making a process in OpenNCA and what are the steps that we have to be taken care of while modeling transportation lag. So as I have already mentioned in my previous video, uh, so like whenever we uh, create a process in OpenNCA for packaging, first we need to create a flow. So I have already created a flow for PP bag and the flow here is for yeah per item number of items you can see uh, that the bag is in number of items i in the previous video i have mentioned why uh, it has to be in items not in kg we can take in kg as well but better to choose item instead of uh, okay for this let's see what are the data that we have and how we are going to use that data uh, in order to create a supply chain for transportation so the data that we have is we have three distances distance one distance two distance three and what we are assuming here that uh, the main product is being manufactured in spain and the product is being transported within spain and the distance is around 250 kilometers the second distance which is a ship transportation and uh, the product is going from spain to usa and the transportation is around the yeah, thousand kilometer and the distance three is like the transport this the quarter is being transported from within uh, USA and the distance is around 500 kilometers. The weight of the product is 1 kg and the weight of the packaging material is 0 0.065 and the packaging material is made up of PP, polypropylene and the total weight of the product is 1.065. So this is the data that we have and let's see how we are going to use it. So the first thing that we always do in order to create a process, first of all we have to open uh, the process folder and uh, you can see here in the emissions we have two folder food and the packaging so if you want to know how i created this pp bag production you can check my previous video so you will get more ideas how to create a packaging process and for soybean milk powder manufacturing you can also uh, see my previous videos to check like how to create process for manufacturing of a product so these are the two videos that you can refer before uh, going further into this video so we have the final product we have a packaging material all we need to do is just to pack the product inside the packaging material so what exactly i need to do is i will write it here as a three because a one or two is already being used and now the three is soy milk powder packaging the next thing that i will do i will create a flow so what i will get is soy milk powder packaged and finish so let's assume uh just for now uh, this uh, processing is happening in spain so let's change it into spain i will get an we go rs yes. or oh my god so this is the hardest part whenever we work on open lca so we have spain here control s so now you can see that the soy milk powder packaging is happening in spain and here all we need to do is just so we'll drag it down the soy milk powder here and the pp bag production okay so now you can see here we have one item here and we have one kg so now we have two things here and the product is in kg and the bag is in item so and you can check like the provider is uh, the same that we are referring to so one is for pp bag and two is for soy milk powder manufacturing so now what we actually need to do is uh we will be adding uh the uh parameters here we will do the parameters and i know that the weight of the packaging material weight of packaging material is 0.065 kg and just mention here is kg okay so what i will do uh, this one kg of soy milk powder is going in and what we are getting here or one plus the weight of the packaging material so this is what we are getting as the output 
So one PP bag is being used to pack the product and the final weight would be the one plus weight of the packaging. So this is how it works. So mm -hmm. you can just check here. So it would be around 1.065. So it would be the same similar as 1.065 here. So this is how the product is being packed. And uh, now the once the product is being packed, what we will be doing, we will be transporting it. Okay. So for transportation, all I need to do is create a new process here as four, which should be soy, milk, powder, transportation, and we'll select the flow as soy milk powder transported. Once I'll create, now the location that I have to select is rest of world because it is being transported from Spain to USA. And, uh, and here neither I can select Spain, neither I can select uh, R, uh, R, RAW. So I will go with the rest of the world or either global, whatever you feel good. But I am I most prefer to go with the rest of the world. So here in control S. So now you can see here RAW is here. If the transportation is happening within Europe, we can go with RER. If it is happening within Spain, we can go with the Spain specifically. But here it is going from Spain to USA. So better to choose ROW instead of any specific country. So now we have soy milk powder packaged. So what I will be doing here, just dragging it down. So now we have three uh, soy milk powder packaged. Okay. So another thing that uh, we should do, you know, that the weight of the packaging material uh, so the final product would be similar as this one so it would be one plus weight packaging i know it is not coming here because i have to add weight of packaging here and then it won't make any problem of weight packaging so 0 0.65 kg and control s so now it won't be making any problem now you can see one zero point one zero six five. So now there are three things uh, that we should be aware of. First of all, when it is being transported from uh, within Spain, what kind of product is being used? When it is transporting from Spain to USA, what kind of ship is being used? And when it is transporting within USA, what kind of trucks are being used? So let's assume within Spain it is a uh, Euro 3 trucks and it is normal ship and uh, it is uh, maybe euro phi so this is the data that we had so what i will be doing here let's choose the lloyd first so we have uh, transportation and storage and uh, let's go here land transport other transport fight and body and let's select the Euro 3 one for Spain. Again, just go here, write lorry and go for the same transportation. But this time we'll select Euro 5 and we have ship. So for ship, we can go here and for water transport. Let's see what are the options that we have. And for now, let's uh, yeah, transport flight and ship. So these are the three things that we have. Okay. So for something which is being uh, transported within USA, let's go here in the provider and select ARIA because it is happening in USA itself. And for the transportation happening in the USA, we can go with ROW. And the transportation for the ship transportation, we can go with the global. So this is how we have to choose the provider. If we have only one transportation, can go with only one a leg here. But we here we have three transportation, so we have to go with the three uh, different providers. Another thing, uh, we I'm in the unit here. You can see it's done into kilometers, so we will have to change it into kilogram to kilometer. We can change it into ten kilometer, but we have to change the uh, weight of the uh, final product into ton. But now we have options. Uh, in kg kilometer as well so we'll change it into kg kilometer so this is something that we should be you know very uh, aware of like what kind of units we are using if we are using uh, something which is not uh, uh, equal or which is not correct then yeah, the yeah, emissions won't be correct there the final results 
won't be correct. So you have to be very careful uh, while working on OpenLC with, and you have to be very careful with the units what exactly you are choosing. So the distance one is around 250 kilometers and the distance three is around 500 kilometers and this one is around 11,000 kilometers. So this is how you can trans, uh, you can model a transportation leg in uh, OpenLC and I hope things are clear to you. There are a few things that you should, you have to be aware of like unit, what is exactly unit we are using. Uh, you have to be aware like in which region the transportation is happening, whether it is happening in Euro, whether it is happening in USA or whether it is, it is happening uh, in, uh, you know, in coastal area like from ships or some other region, whether in Asia. So these are the things you have to be aware of what exactly is happening, what exactly the distance is and the weight of the final product. So sometimes what uh, people do, they just copy, I um, mean, they, they just drag it down here and don't change the amount of the final products. Uh, so in that case, your final result will be correct. So you have to take care of such things like uh, the output of the packaging has to be the input of the transportation. Okay, so I hope this is clear. And uh, if you have any question, just let me know in the comment section so I can make another video on that. So you may not have any uh, other questions. Okay, so uh, I hope things are clear and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.